Okay, so this is going to be a fun video. No, it's not. I'm being facetious. But sometimes you're going to get files, and um, they're not going to give you what you need, right? So maybe you got a file, and you got MSRP, and maybe you got MAP, but they didn't tell you your cost. You had to call or email, and they're like, well, you know, you're going to get 30% off MAP or 30% off MSRP. Okay, um, there's a lot of pricing here and it can get kind of confusing and so a lot of people don't know how to calculate that. So when you're calculating formulas on an Excel sheet, um, one of these has to be real, a valid number. This one right here is not a valid number. Uh, you can see that because it's a formula and I did that because that is the formula to go map is 10% of retail, right? Or 10 off retail. So um, it's a little, get your mind wrapped around this. If it's 10% off retail, then your price formula is 0.9 because 0.9 and 10 makes 100, right? So the 100 is what we're trying to get at. So if, um, let's, get rid of that again. So let's say that MAP was um, 15%, right? So you're going to hit the equal sign because that always starts the formula. And then you're going to tell it what column you're taking the formula from, which is this column. Now we're going to put the star, which is above your eight on your keyboard, and it's going to say, okay, so that's times and if it was 15%, we're going to go 0.85 because 85 and 15 makes 100. And then we're going to enter that. And what happens after that is that's the formula for that line. So you can simply take that formula, copy it, and paste it all the way down your file. And then you have your pricing. But that's still a formula. And it can be very dangerous if you're working in a file and you click on that, you, you can screw that formula up. So once you have your formula there, then you're going to highlight the whole column and you're going to copy it, not cut it. You're going to copy it, take it to a new column. You're going to say paste special. Now you may have a different version of Excel. I should have updated mine like a decade ago, but this is what I'm comfortable with. So whatever. Um, but somewhere on there is going to say pay special. And so you want to pay special and you want it to paste the values, right? Because again, that's a formula. This is a formula. This is a true value. Now, when you're going to put it on your website, this is run out, right? Uh, to multiple characters, format your cell. So click the cell again, format your cell, hit to the number plus two, uh, which is the default, and that tidies it up. Oh, how pretty that is. Now, let's say that they gave you this and they said your cost is 20% off MSRP, but they didn't give that to you, right, on the sheet. Or they gave you Jobber and Jobber was the same as Map and Retail and you're like, how am I supposed to know? I know it's so ridiculous that that doesn't come over to you that way, but it doesn't sometimes. And there's nothing that data providers like myself or SDC can do about it because this is the brand and this is how they do their, their stuff. But it's still a crazy amount of time and frustration on the side of the receivers and their web developers and all that stuff to figure out what you're actually going to be in the vehicle or in the, the part. So again, if they said, hey, here's MAP and MSRP and then your rep or, or someone inside said, we're going to give you 25% off MSRP or if it's 25% off MAP, then you would, you know, again, um, you'd want to go to, to this column. Um, let's go ahead and just delete that because that was just the formulas. So then you're going to hit that equal sign. You're going to tell it what column you're going to be off of. And if it was MAP that you're getting the, re the discount off of or any other pricing column, that's the column you're going to highlight. 
right? So we've got that and we're going to hit that star, which is times. And then again, if they said you're 25% off, you're putting the higher number of 100. So you're going to put in 0 0.75. It, it's not 0 0.25 because that's going to do a 75%. So the, the higher number of it, right, is what you're going to put in here because 25 and 75 make 100. And then you're going to hit enter. And it's like, this is your cost. That's 25% off MSRP. I'm going to hit copy. You're going to pull that down your whole sheet right to the bottom. You're going to hit paste. And then I, just to be on the safe side again, always copy that out. I paste the special so the values go away. Because again, you accidentally click on this and you do something. Um, it, it can screw your whole formula up. And you wouldn't notice it necessarily before you import into something. So again, your cost on that is 125. You want to see what it is tidied up and not rounded out. You go to number, your decimal places are two, and there you go. All right. I really hope this helps. Um, it can be done quickly, but it, you got to watch what you're doing. And um, again, data providers like myself and SDC will continue to try and convince the manufacturers to actually use real pricing. But um, that's a big boat to turn, guys, gals, everybody. Um, anyway, hope you uh, hope this helped. All right. Bye.